The topic of this video is Theorem on Chords of a Circle. In this lesson, we shall examine the relationship of line segments in the circle. Let's start with the first theorem, the perpendicular to chord theorem. The theorem states that if a line segment is drawn from the center of the circle, perpendicular to the chord, then it bisects the chord. In the illustration at the right, circle O, if OB, the segment OB, is perpendicular to segment HT, we can conclude that OB is bisect HT, meaning this line divides this line, this HT, into two equal parts. So that if this line is perpendicular to this chord. On the other theorem, the center chord midpoint theorem, the line joining the center of the circle to the midpoint of any chord which is not a diameter is perpendicular to a chord. In this in the circle O, if B is the midpoint of the chord HT, and if we connect B to O, then this line we created is perpendicular to HT. So that's that's what this theorem state. The third theorem is the perpendicular bisector chord to the center theorem. The perpendicular bisector of a chord of a circle passes through the center of the circle. In circle O, if line AB, this is line AB, this is an imaginary line AB, is perpendicular bisector of the chord KT, then therefore, this line will always pass through the center. Now, if we put another line here, and we need to find the perpendicular bisector of it, for example, this is the perpendicular bisector of it, then this line will pass to the center of the circle. That's the theorem states. Now, let's put these theorems, these three theorems, into an example or a problem. In the illustration below, if segment AC is equivalent to 38 centimeter, AC, this one, is 38 centimeter, what is the measurement of GC? What is the measurement of this? Now, in the line segment draw from the center, if a line segment draw from a center of the circle perpendicular to the chord, then it bisects the chord. So, this symbol states that this line is perpendicular uh, to the chord. Therefore, this line bisects the, bisects the, the chord AC. And if that's the case, if that's okay, that means that GC is half of AC. So, that means that G GC is equivalent to 19 centimeter. Second example. If CG is 42 degree, 42 centimeter, CG is 42 centimeter. What is the measurement of AC? Again, with the, with the same theorem a while ago, this line bisect this chord. That simply put that this, the GC is one half or GC or CG is one half of the measurement of AC. If GC is 42, then therefore AC is equal to 84. So that's how we deal with it. On the next example, OA is 5 cm long and OG is 3 cm. So this is 5, this is 3. And we are asked to find what is the measurement of CG. Now, since OB is perpendicular to the chord AC, then it is it bisects AC at point G. That means the triangle AOG is a right triangle. Now, to find to find CG, we need to solve for AG because they are congruent. So, to find this, we need to find this. To solve for AG, we need to use the Pythagorean formula. And that is 
a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, where c is the hypotenuse of the triangle, which is the radius, AO. So that is AG plus OG is equivalent to the square root of AG plus the square root of OG is equivalent to a AO squared. So we just manipulate the formula. We just need to subtract both sides by OG squared so that we will come up of this formula. Now we need to substitute all the values that we have and that gives us the value of square root of 60. So therefore, CG is equivalent to 4 centimeters. On the next example, we have OG a 6 centimeter AC a 16 and we are asked to find what is the measurement of BG okay to find BG we need to find the measurement of the radius then then subtract the measurement of OG from it so since this is a radius, and this is the radius of the circle as well. So radii of the same circle are congruent. So therefore, if we find if we found the measurement of OA, we can find the measurement of VG by subtracting OG to the measurement of OA of the radius. Now we will use triangle AOG to find the measure of AO. We will need to find the measurement of. We will use this triangle find the measurement of the radius. Now if this is 16, it is nice to point out that this is the value of this one is 8 because this line bisects this chord into two equal parts. So that's why this is 8, this is 16, and we need to find the measurement of this using the Pythagorean formula. So where OG is 6 and AG is 8, as are given, AG is half of AC. So now we will we will just manipulate the formula for us to get the exact formula wherein we will get the value of OA which is the radius and we will substitute all the values that we have 8 for AG and 6 for OG this is 8 and this is 6 so after that 8 times 8 is 64 plus 36 that is 100 the square root of 100 is 10 so therefore the measurement of a, the radius is 10 so now we need to so, so the measurement of this is 10 now to find the measurement of this we need to subtract the measurement of this which is 6 so 10 minus 6 is equivalent to 4 therefore BG is equal to 4 centimeter the next theorem is the distant chord theorem in the same circle or in a congruent circle, chords are congruent if and only if their distance from the centers of the circle are equal. So look at the illustration. Let's focus first on circle O on the left. In circle O, if AO, segment AO is congruent with segment OF, this indicates that this that these two chords have the same distance from the center O. Then therefore, chord AB and chord CD are congruent as well. On the example on the right, let's say that CA and DB are congruent. So therefore, this, this state that circle A and circle B are congruent circle. And if AI, this one, and BJ are congruent to each other as well therefore we can we can we can conclude that EF and GH are congruent as well now let's put that in action let's try to answer questions about it AB is, is equal to DC so meaning this one is congruent with this one 
A, B, and D, C. Okay. F, O is 16. F, O is 16. Then we need to find the measurement of E, O. So by the previous by, by the previous theorem that we have, since these two are are congruent, therefore it these chords have the same distance from the center. F O is the distance of chord A B from the center, and A O is the the distance of of D C from the center. Now again, if two chords of the circle are equal, then the two chords are equidistant from the center. So therefore, the measurement of FO is equivalent to the measurement of EO. Therefore, EO is equivalent to 16 centimeter as well. Another example is somehow, uh, somehow confusing at first, but if we're going to analyze it, it will give us a very basic answer. Now, two congruent chords of the circle with a radius of 6 have the length of 8 cm. Find the distance of each chord from the center. So we know that both chords are 8 cm. So they have the same the same measurement. Therefore, they have the same distance from the center. So if a line will draw from the center of the circle perpendicular to the chord, then it bisects the chord. That makes it two equal segments. So this is one. So that gives us four and four. Now if we're going to rewrite the radius, this will be our, our radius, and it measures 6 cm. Now we, now we could find the distance of the, the of one chord from the center by substituting that as an x. Now we will use Pythagorean theorem to show what is the value of this x or this distance. So that is 36 minus 16, that is 20. So, meaning the distance is 2 square root of 5 centimeter. So, if the distance of this chord is 2 square root of 5 centimeter, therefore the distance of this is 2 square root of 5 centimeter as well. Because they have the same, the same length, they should be, they should have the same distance. Another theorem that we need to consider is the arc, the chord are congruence theorem. In a circle or in a congruent circle, two minor arcs are congruent if and only if their corresponding chords are congruent. So look at this. In circle O on the left, if AB is congruent to CD, therefore arc AB and arc CD are congruent as well. Now let's see on the next example. This two line indicates that the, the, this three, the radius of the two circles are congruent. And if two circles have the same radius, therefore, these circles are congruent. Now, CD is congruent to EF. Therefore, CD is equivalent, arc CD is equivalent or congruent to the measurement of arc EF. Now, let's try to answer this question. So find the measurement of arc AB. AB. Since the measurement of since arc measures are additive, the measurement of arc ABC is equivalent to 360 minus 128. Because this two plus this one is 360. So 360 minus 128. Therefore, therefore we have the measurement of arc ABD as 232. Now, since these two chords, chord AB and BD are equal, then arc AB and BD, BD are equal as well. So we need to divide the measurement of the remaining arc, arc ABD, into two, and we will get the value of 116 for each arc. So this is all for this video tutorial. Thank you for tuning in and for listening to this video. Please like and subscribe.